Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Solar Fox here. Hey, we're at the US Mint Gov website and we're just checking out the product schedule here. We got one release coming out this week, or I guess two rather, on the same day. The Morgan and Peace proof sets are coming out. Let's click on those. And they're going to be 80 bucks, 0.859 tri ounces fine silver there. The mintage 400,000, limited 25. And the subscription should still be open because it's a huge release. Yep. So if you guys want these and you don't want to wait till drop day, I'd get on the descriptions. Maybe it won't sell out first day, we'll see. And then for the piece, it's almost everything the same 80 bucks 0.859 troy ounce 400,000 limited 25 and these subscriptions are going to be open as well <clears throat> but it'll be interesting to see um, how long it takes for these to go because that will kind of set the precedence for the reverse proof which I just did a video on uh, that comes out November 14th And uh, another thing to get excited about, will these have COA director strike designations on them? And from the press release or the video, they didn't really specify which coin she did the director strike on. Did she do them for each, like, each set of coins, like the circulated, the proof, and the reverse proof? Or was it just the circulated? It kind of seemed like it was just the circulated from what the press release looked like. But who knows? And then we could get into the the tussle of, hey, they should have done different dyes, and it's nothing special. It's all the same. I think it's still cool, but they could have implemented it a little bit better. And speaking of which, let's look up the population report of those... Director Strike COAs while my computer loads here. All right. 2023 piece Directors Strike first day. Let's see how many are there. Director Strike. So still one of one in a 70, so that's interesting. And we might as well take a look at the old eBay, or as some who hate it call it eBay. I kind of like it. Gives me a lot of information. So I don't know why, but the way I pull up all of these listings is by doing like congratulations um what director strike not sure why people put the congratulations in there all right let's pull out congratulations So there should be more than just these two, unless they just ended. Do we have to put an apostrophe? No. No, we don't. See if congratulations by itself pulls them all up. Because I swear I saw like five yesterday. And it just happened to be coming by it. Hmm. Maybe they ended. Well, for what it's worth, 
$1,800 with two days left, another $1,800, five days left. Let's check out the sold. Maybe they sold recently. <clears throat> oh, that's the problem. So this one sold yesterday. It was the sixth. $3,500. So, you know, thirty-five fifty. dollars Same thing. This one sold for $19. It's kind of weird. Wonder why that is. And I think I reported on these two. Wonder why this one only sold for nineteen hundred. Let's take a look. Then I'll get off here. Alright. Blah blah blah. Oh, there was a reserve. <laughs> That's funny. So nobody bid on it because there was a reserve. It doesn't show the coin. It does have the COA. They probably could have put the coin here, flipped the COA over so you could see it. Number 186. There's the coin. Huh. So I guess lesson learned if you want to do a reserve on a high expensive item, probably don't because no one's going to bid on it. Or the thing that they did was they posted it and then they ended it. That's maybe what happened. Because that's pretty low, even if it's a reserve. Bye, right, guys. Anyways, that's the current status on those COAs there. Hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you. Take care.